All right, so we have this here. And this is an Oval Track modified. It's a Mini B conversion. It's the Hackfab Oval Track conversion chassis. And uh, nobody around here runs Oval Track. So we're going to take this off of all this stuff off of here. And we're going to put it on an Omni chassis and make a road car. We've just been sitting on this for quite a while. We've got a motor and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, we've got this prototype Omni chassis uh, that Hackfab sent us. And um, yeah, we're gonna use it. I think it's got some different mounting positions. Uh, I think it's slightly narrower, maybe. Oh, it's narrower this way. Um, this is all the same, but the chassis is a little more narrow. I think the normal production chassis is about this big. Uh, which gives you more battery mounting options but we didn't really need those so the prototype chassis works just fine so we're going to put all this on here show you what it's about so the first thing we got to do is just pop all this off pop the bumper off and the uh, front and rear it should be pretty simple almost everything is a 1.5 waterfall bam simple as that and that'll go on the other chassis we're gonna do the same on the front and the battery mounts and you can see here the chassis is slightly longer the Omni chassis is you able to mount back much further on that chassis get a longer wheelbase Okay. So you can mount there, which gives you a little bit more, or you can mount in the original position and it'll be the same length. But we're going to go a little longer. So it's super simple to get the front end on. Really, you just mount everything to the bulkhead that they provide, the Hackfab bulkhead, and then there are two little risers next to your servo. And that's it. Everything just bolts in like normal. We actually are missing a screw. We lost a screw somewhere on the other kit, so we got to get a get a screw there. But super simple, super simple. Now we're just going to do the rear, and like that. So we went ahead and mounted it forward a little bit. Uh, the two different sizes are the 204 millimeter, which is for the McAllister Mini late model sized bodies, um, and then also the 210 if you scoot it back for Tamiya M chassis bodies. Um, I think we've got a shorter body that we might use. I don't know, we, we could end up moving it, but we gotta figure out what body we wanna use first. But I think there's a shorter road car body that we're gonna check out. And uh, yeah, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what it looks like and then if we have to move it, we will. But there you go. That's pretty quick and easy. The back, you don't have to do anything special in the back. There's nothing special there. You've got your front bumper mount here. And then you have the rear body mount, which will go on the back, which goes where your uh, wing normally goes. Okay. Alrighty. We went ahead and put the Mini B tires back on, Mini T tires back on. Um, we do have some Sweep Mini belted road tires with wheels. Those are coming, and uh, we'll put those on and show you when we get them. Uh, we also, we're, we don't know what body we're using. We got a body that was given to us by uh, one of our road course guys. It's beat to hell. I mean, it's, it, you know, it, it was basically his trash body, but it's a 112th. We think we're going to be able to get it to fit. Um, just got to maybe cut some holes in the back here and drop it down. Need to mess with the bumper a little. It's not ideal, and it's probably not the final form. Obviously, if we run this thing enough, we'll, we'll just get a, a real proper body for it. Um, we are going to run the Surpass Hobby Brushless and ESC. It's the this guy here with this guy here. This is a uh, 6100. So we're going to throw that and this up in here and uh, see how she does. This should be a pretty decent motor for a road car. We'll see if it gets gets hot. But uh, 
says higher speed, lower temperature. So we'll just have to see. Seventy one hundred should be more than enough. More than enough. We've also got this uh, hot racing fifty four tooth spur uh, with no slipper. You know. So we're gonna try that. And um, twenty two tooth and twenty four tooth. I mean, we'll probably do the twenty two. It might already be geared way too high, but we'll see. Especially with this being fifty four. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So we'll just have to mess up a little bit. I just want to make sure we're not getting too hot. And that it's controllable. All right, we got our motor in, our spur, in our pinion. It's a little loud. It's a little loud. Our mesh is good. Remember when you're doing mesh, always make sure there's a little bit of play in there, right? You should be able to hold the pinion or spur and have some play. You don't want it tight, but you don't want it so loose that it'll strip. You don't want any slipping gears. We're using the Huvo, Hovo, I don't know, Huvo. It's a 60C. 2S, the Savox, which you've seen. I think we're just gonna lay it out like this, put our uh, receiver right up here. Wait, 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 wait. Try to equal out the weight a little bit. And uh, yeah, don't forget with these uh, non-censored brushless, just in case you're curious, because there's no markings on these wires here, on the three motor wires. There's, there's, there's the colors on the motor, but none on the ESC side. So you may wonder, what wire do you plug into which wire? And in a brushless, non-censored ESC and motor, it does not matter. And if you find yourself going in reverse, all you gotta do is swap two of those wires. Doesn't even matter which two. You can swap any two wires and you'll go uh, from reverse to forward. You can also switch it in your remote if you'd like. Um, but some remotes or ESCs will act funny. It'll, you know, your, your brake in reverse uh, will end up being backwards and weird stuff like that. Could potentially happen depending on your setup. Um, but generally, all you gotta do is swap the two wires, any two, and it'll reverse your, uh, your throttle. So that's, a <clears throat> so that's an easy one. Um, everything else has been pretty easy on this build. We just need to get this mounted back in there. And uh, yeah, take it for a little drive via drive around. And uh, I think it's going to be a little too fast. I think we're too fast. But we'll see. A few moments later. All right. So here's what we got all set up. We're just going to run it on our street real quick. We don't want to get too crazy because it's kind of low. We raised it a little bit just to make sure we're not dragging. But yeah. That's Savix servo is loud. Okay, we're done. <laughs> we're done. It's too hard to record and drive with one hand. So we have to get a different setup to record. Okay, so the motor was getting kind of hot. I don't know, I need to get my temp gauge on it. We plan on running this kind of on carpet, maybe at our local place, just for fun. Um, there's not really a class or anything for it, but I kind of would rather have a road car than an oval track right now, so that's why we converted it. Because again, we, nobody's running oval track here for these at all. At least we have a really good carpet track, uh, so on road carpet, and this will do better there, even if I'm just running practice laps for fun and whatnot. 
Um, these tires are obviously no good for it, but I need to get something on there. And they're just in that little run video. I mean, we, we smoked these tires pretty easily. So it is what it is. We got some better tires coming. And like I said, hopefully this doesn't get too hot when running on the carpet, but we'll have to, we'll have to see. We might have to switch it to a slipper clutch. I don't know. We'll mess with it. As always, do those things at the end of videos that you uh, should do for videos you like. Like, subscribe, share. So I hope if you uh, have a Mini B or Mini T and you're kind of done running it as an off-road car and you're interested in on-road, check out the Omni chassis from HackFab. And uh, yeah, if you made it to the end of this video, put Omni in the description below. O-M-N-I, Omni. And uh, yeah, do all the things that you're supposed to do at the end of one of these videos. Like, subscribe, share, hit the bell button so that you know when new videos go up. Uh, we got to get the body on this thing and the real tires. We'll show those when they come in and get some footage of us running on the on-road track and with our body and our tires and whatnot. So yeah, hit the notification bell so that you know when that video goes up. Do it. Get out there, run your cars, crash them, smash them, and bash them, but don't break any expensive parts. We almost did. We almost hit that curb pretty hard. So yeah, we're done. Mm -hmm.